Hi everyone, Twitch65 here again. In this video, we're going to take a look at building Walther's N-Scale Country Store. The kit comes with four sprues, each molded in a different color. A small sheet of stickers, plus a clear plastic sheet, and of course some instructions. First things first, I didn't like any of the color combinations. So I taped off the window and door inserts such that the paint won't interfere with gluing later on. Pulled over from scale model building, I clipped the basic building parts from the sprues so that I could build sub-assemblies. The key is to clip up near the sprue gate, then cut and file away the excess material until you have a flush fitting part. You can clean up any mold lines at this time as well. Here you can see I used provided base as a jig to align the walls together so that I could glue them in place. The walls were glued to each other using Tamiya extra thin cement. After getting all the sub assemblies sorted, I used my airbrush to prime and base coat each of the assemblies. After the paint had a chance to cure overnight, each of the sub assemblies was given a light coat of gloss varnish. This allows the use of enamel panel liner or very dilute oil paints to bring out the smaller details. Remember, you'll need some sort of turpentine or spirits to remove the excess enamel. Give the panel liner 10 to 20 minutes of dry time and then wipe off the excess, leaving it just down on the recesses and cracks. Again, to make that smaller detail pop. After giving the enamel about 24 hours to fully cure and set in place, it's time to add the windows and doors. A couple dabs of thin cement, push them in place, hold them there for a second or two, and they're set. Then it's just a matter of rinsing and repeating with all the other windows and doors and all the other blocks. Then it's just a matter of adding all the sub-assemblies back, gluing them in place, and putting on all the extra parts. Lastly, we add the detail parts like the roof, the uh, downspouts, the chimney, all the stickers, add some weathering powder, and seal everything in with uh, a light layer of dull coat and place it on the layout. Well, that's it, everybody. That's my version of the Walther's Country Store. Hope you enjoyed it and look forward to talking to you next time.